What do you think of Clarence Larkin's dispensational truth books with his charts, etc.? Any thoughts on his books? Uh, on his book. Uh, so my thoughts on uh, Clarence Larkin's dispensational truth book. Uh, he, I, I keep it a copy in my office. Uh, he's uh, uh, got the very humble title of the greatest book on dispensational truth ever written, and uh, it maybe is close. <laughs> uh, the the best thing in the book are his charts, which just almost have not been surpassed. Uh, and uh, Larkin uh, wrote, uh, I may be off on my timing here, but uh, 75, 100 years ago, and Hand did these charts. He was a draftsman, if I'm not mistaken, um, and uh, comes along in a long line of uh, laymen who are great dispensational thinkers. And those of you out there who are draftsmen and engineers and mathematicians uh, and uh, uh, detectives and all that, you make great students of the word as Clarence Larkin did. Now, I think it's a very valuable book. In fact, I have uh, looked from time to time to figure out how to get the, uh, uh, the, the, the ability to republish that book because it's uh, somewhat hard to find. You can find it out there. Uh, and uh, many of the charts uh, and even the, uh, the words are on the internet because it's in uh, public domain now. But uh, I, I, I love his charts. I, I disagree with a couple of things in, in his work, uh, just as I do Schofield's work. Both of them hold to a gap theory. I don't hold to a gap theory, though I would have to say I understand where they're coming from, and I think they've got a good argument that's not to be dismissed as quickly as we do dismiss it. Uh, but, uh, but it's not, not a, a theory I teach, and he does uh, in his. Uh, but he's really got some fascinating stuff in there. In fact, he's got some work on the pyramids uh, that is often overlooked and that some people think is kind of kooky and might be kind of kooky, I don't know, but uh, uh, it is definitely worth considering and looking at, and he comes at it from a logic uh, point of view, not a, not a, a biblical point of view. I think that's fine to take some logical conclusions and uh, put a few scriptures and some logic and put this together and say, hey, wait a minute, could it be that? And uh, very worthy of things that liberate. And if we know our history and we know, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 classic uh, thinking and we know uh, great literature, that sets us free from the small thinking that is around us. So it's the liberal arts, and I would, I would love to see more young people get into the liberal arts and become experts in the liberal arts in the church. Uh, but uh, that's uh, off to another question. And, and Clarence Larkin comes from that point of view when he studies the pyramids uh, in there. So I think that every good dispensationalist just needs to get a copy of Clarence Larkin's Dispensational Truth. Uh, and again, I'm sorry that we don't have it at Dispensational sensationalpublishing.com. Uh, now, I think, and I'm guilty as this is probably everyone else, most people just look at his charts and don't read his stuff. He's got some very good stuff in the, in, in the written literature as well. And uh, I think it's very worthy. So I would, uh, I, I would highly recommend uh, Larkin's. And I would say, just like on Larkin's, question the assumptions. Uh, is, it's, uh, is he taking a particular passage of scripture? Uh, is, is he interpreting it for what it actually says? Because it's so easy for us to uh, make a passage of scripture say something that it doesn't really say. So uh, thank you for that uh, question and opportunity to uh, uh, recommend Larkin there.